welcome back to another installment to Poke Fodder. In this video, we are going to look at one of the newest creatures in Jurassic World Alive for version 2.0. But before we get into the action, I do want to let you know if you are looking for live gameplay of Jurassic World Alive, you can catch me over on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Up until now, I've been doing live battle arenas on Mondays and Wednesdays, with Fridays being reserved for tournament battles. But with the addition of raid bosses, we're going to start incorporating some of those into the live streams and you're not gonna wanna miss out on the action. And just to make sure you know when I am live over on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitter. Links as always are in the description below. And the first creature that we are going to look at is going to be the newest unique. It is going to be Dracoceratosaurus. This is a hybrid between Dracoceratops and Proceratosaurus. Now the one you're looking at here is level 30. So these numbers are going to be significantly higher than what you probably see on your but when maxed out it is a 40 11 hp 1944 attack 117 speed creature no armor and a five percent crit and since it is a unique both pro ceratosaurus and dracoceratops are going to need to be level 20. the basic attack on dracoceratosaurus is going to be cunning strike and as you can imagine that means that this is going to be a cunning creature if you are looking for opportunities to use this creature you're going to want to try to match it up against other fierce creatures. Additionally, the new language in the game has things like self, target. Just know that self means what it does to the specific creature. Target means when you're in a raid battle, what is it going to do? Who is it going to target? And if it helps you to think of it as target, just think of in PVP, you only have one target. So whatever it targets, the one creature in front of you is going to fit that role. So Cleansing Strike is going to cleanse damage over time, target the lowest HP creature in raid battles, remove critical hit chance increase and attack increase, reduce damage 50% for two attacks lasting one turn, reduce critical hit chance 100% and it is a one times attack. Something that you're probably going to find a little awkward at first is where it says attack and then it actually has a number next to it instead of a multiplier. What you do to figure out exactly what kind of attack this is, is you just know whatever your base attack is. I know that this is 1944, as you can see, attack 1944 means it's a one times attack. Moving on to cunning impact again, it is going to cleanse damage over time. It's going to target the highest damage opponent, remove critical hit chance increase and attack increase, reduce damage 50% for two attacks lasting one turn, reduce critical hit chance 100% with an attack of 1916, which is going to be a 1.5 times multiplier and has a cooldown of one. Acute stun is going to target the highest damaged opponent, stun 100%, lasting for one turn with a cooldown of two. Cleansing impact is going to cleanse, obviously. It's going to target the lowest HP creature and it is a 1.5 times attack with a two turn cooldown. Finally, the passive for this creature is going to be swap in savagery. It's going to target the highest HP, deal 0.4 times of target's max HP as damage, and it's unable to swap lasting for two turns. Remember, there are no more immunities. There are now resistances. And this creature has a 100% resistance to swap prevention. So how does Draco Ceratosaurus perform in the arena? Let's check it out. I'm going to go to the very top. I'm going up to mission 82 of the single player campaign mode, and we are going to drop in a team. Now, because this is a swap in creature, I don't want to just use it right off the bat. And as a nod to my homeboy, Erlico Gamma, I'm gonna let Erlico Gamma take the lead on this. What I'm going to do is I want to utilize the swap and run or the hit and run or impact and run, whatever Gamma got nerfed down to. And I wanna use that into the newest creature. So here we are at Lockwood Estates. I have to defeat three creatures. There's four of them here. They are all level 30. Like I said, I'm going to open with our Lico Gamma. If you notice my team here, I have two cunning creatures and two fierce creatures. We'll see how it plays out. I'm actually not necessarily trying to beat this particular um, um, lineup here, but I wanna show off some of the capabilities of the newest creature. I'm gonna open with a cunning creature. The AI is gonna open with a resilience figure, which completely counters me, and is not even gonna be a good matchup for Draco Stratosaurus. Nonetheless, I'm going to precise pounce. I should, in theory, switch out over into a fierce creature here 
to go for the better matchup. Holy smokes. Okay, so that saves me the trouble of having to swap out into a, um, yikes. Let's, uh, let's go to, I should have gone with Dio though. Oh, well. Um, so basically distracting impact, and I don't even know what all these new uh, resistances, like there's a ton of them here. 75% um, resistant to distraction. So that's a one times move, 2309. This is a higher move, and they're gonna swap out into their own fierce creature, which is nice for me. That sets up well for Draco Ceratosaurus. I swear I'm going to mess that up at one point. And as such, now we're gonna do the swap in savagery. Oh, but they swapped out of into our Dentosaurus. Interesting move there. But we're still gonna get the swap in. It's gonna do 40% damage. There you go. And I'm surprised, I'm actually really surprised that I'm not faster. Of course, they do have boosts up to 128, but even still, that is wild to think about. Obviously, I can't swap out. Um, this creature is 100% resistant to stuns, so that's not gonna work in my favor. Basically, what I'm gonna need to do is find my highest attack here, cleansing impact or cunning impact. I'm gonna go with cleansing impact and they're gonna swap out into their own cunning creature. Lots of swaps happening here. So we're now going up against, wow, the other Pro Ceratosaurus hybrid, and that is gonna be Yoshi. Notice how the, the swap in nullification there came afterwards, or what was that? Nullifying counter. Oh, okay, so it's a nullifying counter. Well, we're gonna go right here, instant distraction. We're going to cleanse damage over time. It's not really gonna help, but you see how it shows all the immunities, it shows everything that is happening. That's pretty cool. It's gonna take a minute to get used to for sure. I have a double distract on me, ouch. So I only have one move left to do, and we're going to swap out into another cunning creature. Very, very swap heavy here for my opponents, but that's giving me a good chance to kind of showcase a little bit better of what I've got going on here. Again, I think it's best if I just go with my highest damage. I, I don't know everybody's moves here. So I, you can actually stun Endogen 2 now. Let's give it a big bump there. Swap out into Indominus Rex Gen 2. <clears throat> So this looks like it's going to be, you're going to get to see a showcase of all the different moves here because <laughs> cloak, okay. And I have to say for a cunning creature, 117 is not super fast. Oh, you see the dynamic text here? That shows you all your dynamic text. Pretty cool. Uh, we're, we're trying to get through. I have no idea what the AI is doing at this point. They are just swap a lot. <laughs> Eventually, I'm just going to knock everything out. But I do have to say, the 117 speed on a cunning creature seems a bit slow. For sure. Definitely seems a little bit slow here. Um, the fact that, and, and I know it has boost in it, but the fact that a fierce Indominus Rex Gen 2 is significantly higher is kind of interesting oh we're gonna take a big hit right here i'm actually not going to take that big hit i'm gonna save it and we'll do one more swap in of course the ai has just gone bonkers on me here now i'm gonna swap out bring in dio rajasaur and uh at this point i think i can just straight swap right back in to draco ceratosaurus and even if they swap, I think I'm probably going to knock out whatever they try to bring in. So there goes Endogen 2, 2370 on the swap in there. Again, 40% of max HP. I can't swap back out. Mutual Fury is an odd choice. And uh, it looks like Draco Ceratosaurus is going to go ahead and walk away with the clean sweep. Very good. Very good, do the happy dance there. So there you go. 
That is your first look at Draco Ceratosaurus. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Is this a creature that you can see finding its way onto your team? Or do you think there are better things out there? That's all I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time.